G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, recently I was uh, doing a bit of work on the on my 85 Ducati, uh, one or two Ducati, early model Ducatis I've got, uh, getting them uh, de-winterised, uh, ready for summer, and uh, on both my Ducatis I've always run uh, Unifilter AirPods, and uh, they perform well, and I've never thought too much about it, just uh, put them on, and uh, away I went. And uh, normally um, I just get a size that will fit over the um, little bell mouth that comes on these, little plastic bell mouth that, that comes on these uh, uh, Delorto Carbies. It's uh, a basic um, ram tube, I suppose you'd say. And they do uh, give some assistance to the airflow. And uh, even though they fit on, it's not a good fit. The, uh, the little lip on the ram tube makes the, um, you know, the fitting not as neat as it could be. So I, uh, I recently machined up some uh, adapters to go on there, did away with the little ram tubes, and uh, um, while I was doing it and uh, setting it up with the new filter pods, I was running the, uh, the the calipers over a few things, and because I had the machinist up on the lathe, and and when when I was looking at it, I, I, it suddenly hit me. I thought, well, I don't know, these these Unifilter pods really uh, seem to have a an airflow problem, and uh, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so what's the problem? Well, we're going to look at this particular. Unifilter here, it's a PK82, 50mm, they call them 50mm, and uh, for Motor Guzzi, well, Ducati as well, anything with the Lordos or a monoblock type carby, and uh, that's the one we're going to look at. So, the problem. Well, the problem is that even though these are beautifully made filter and I've used them for many years and I've got the highest respect for the Unifilter company, I think there's a design problem, an airflow problem with them, um, the way they are. Uh, people just put them on and use them and that's all I've ever done until I decided that I would replace the, the little ram tube that comes on to Lordo's standard with a an aluminium one that I've machined up. It's, a, it's the same type of thing except it doesn't have this lip on, on the external lip on it and that means that this filter will, instead of being forced over that lip up to this point here, like that, what it means is that the little uh, adapter can go straight in and uh, to the same position and uh, do its job. So uh, the clamp pulls up properly, get a nice neat fit, and everything's great. But that's when you notice the problem. I mean, you're running these, you know, the gauge over all this stuff to machine up this gear, and then you look at it and you think, well, hang on, this isn't really very good. When you look at it, what's happening? The the diameter of the of the thread, which is basically the inside diameter of your little ram tube is bigger than the hole in the unifilter that the air is actually flowing through <laughs> into the motor. Well that's not good at all, not in my opinion anyway. So what have we got? Well what we've got is the original orifice entrance to the little ram tube is 48 mil wide. It reduces down to 47 mil where it goes up against the face of the carby and you've got your little air bleeds and that down the bottom here. Okay, 48 to 47. So the air is going uh, from 48 to 47 but before, before that happens it's gone from 42 would you believe 42 down to 48. Uh, out to 48. So basically, you know, you're restricting the airflow enormously um, with this 
type of an arrangement. How do you fix it? Well, there's an easy solution, but it just makes you question the whole thought process behind that shoulder. I don't see what, what it's there for, quite frankly. So all I did was I got my trusty hole saw and I just cut it out with the hole saw. So here's a modified one and here's the original. Big difference, as you can see, a big difference. So now when we put our little ram tube or spacer in there, I mean this is just a tapered ram, now we get a much better effect. We get, for a start, we get the full 48 mil entrance and in actual fact you do get a type of an ram effect with this because it then continues to taper out the thickness of the adapter out to the wall of the of the of the filter. So I mean that's got to be a million percent better than this surely. I mean there you have it. After I'd done this it got me thinking as so I looked on the internet to see if any testing had been done on, on unifilter pods or any pods. And there is actually a website, a uh, respected website, that did proper bench flow testing of K&N, Unifilter and a couple of others and the original uh, air filter box system on a Triumph, Triumph Twin. And of all the Unifil of all the pods they tested, Unifilter came last on airflow. But they didn't actually question why a foam filter was any worse than a paper filter. I mean, a foam filter shouldn't really be very restricted at all. If anything, it should be less restrictive, I would think, than paper. But they didn't question it, they just put the results up and there it was. But, I mean, when you're flow testing, the airflow has to go through the hole that's there. And in this case, it's no surprise that Unifilter came out last because of this, in, in my opinion, because of this restrictor. The K&Ms that I've ever seen have all got a straight throat, which is what I've achieved here. So there's the question, there's the question. Do Unifilter AirPods restrict airflow? In my opinion, yes, I think they do. I think they do restrict it quite severely as they are. So something about, feel free to comment. Um, as I said, I'm not a rocket scientist. I'm just a basic old motorcycle mechanic part-time. And uh, to me, this looks a lot better solution than that. Hope you find it enjoyable. Okay, see you next time.